Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Javin Academy, and today we're at our Jackson, New Jersey site. So this is actually a new location for us here, and it's our first ever franchisee location as well. And this is the way that we're planning to expand nationwide. So if you're in the Jackson, New Jersey area, and you want to fast get in and out real quickly, since they've just opened, they don't have a lot of students waiting to kind of get going. So if you are interested in actually getting your CDL license as soon as possible, this is the best school to come to currently. If you want to give this, this team a call, they're all always here they're going to be staffed and ready to rock and roll and help you out and get yourself on your road to freedom so in today's video we're going to be going through the actual pre-trip inspection on one of their trucks here they have many different training trucks they have a big training guard here and this one we're going to go through the pre-trip inspection fairly quickly to kind of give you an overview of what this pre-trip inspection would look like on this in particular vehicle right over here and I'm going to show you how to do it the quickest way possible without speaking too fast so you can't understand me all right so First thing we're going to do, we're going to come to the front of the vehicle. We're going to make sure that we're checking all the lights. So I know the hood is up, but like I said, we're going to be doing it the quick way. On the top, we're going to have our clearance lights. They have to be uh, clean and functional, uh, not cracked or broken, and they're going to be amber in color. The same thing is going to be said about our turn signals, clean and functional, not cracked or broken, and uh, amber in color. Headlights are going to be clean and functional, uh, clear in color, and not cracked or broken either. Now let's going to go to the actual hood itself, underneath the hood. We're going to start off on the passenger side and talk about the different things that we have going on over here. Over here we have our coolant level. We have to check the sight glass, which is this item right over here. If we did not have a sight glass, we'd have to check from the top and make sure that the engine is fully cool. We have to make sure that it is at adequate level. This, this hose right here is going to lead to our water pump. Our water pump is going to be gear driven, operating properly, not damaged or leaking, and it is mounted securely. And that's pretty much everything that you have to worry about on this side of the vehicle itself. We're going to make sure that all the hoses are in good condition, not leaking, and there's no puddles on the ground. So let's go to the other side and talk about that. So now over here we're going to have a few different items on this side. We're going to have our power steering fluid. This is our power steering fluid reservoir. We check the, uh, to see the adequate level through the dipstick here. This is going to be the alternator. Alternator is going to be belt driven. It's operating properly, not damaged or leaking, and it's mounted securely. An alternator belt has no more than three quarter inch of play, no cracks or frays, loose fibers or signs of wear. Over here is going to be my air compressor and over there is going to be my power steering pump. They're both going to be gear driven, they're both going to be operating properly, not damaged or leaking and mounted securely. Over here is going to be my uh, oil level, so this is my dipstick, I'm going to check the oil when the engine is off and it must be above the refill mark. Over here is going to be my power steering box, my power steering box is mounted securely. It's not leaking, not cracked or broken, and has no loose or missing bolts. Uh, my power steering hoses are also not leaking and, mount and mounted securely. My steering linkage is going to be right over here. My arm link and rod are not worn or cracked. My joints and sockets are not worn or loose. There's no missing nuts, bolts, or cotter keys. From there, we're going to talk about the actual dr uh, drive tire itself. So we're going to talk about the tread depth. can be less than two, uh, four thirty seconds of an inch on the front tire. Not cut or worn on the tread or on the sidewall. My rim can be uh, cracked, damaged, or bent. No illegal welding repairs and no rust trails indicating it's loose. Over here we're going to have our lug nuts. They're all present, not cracked or distorted. It has no signs of looseness such as rust trails or shiny treads. Over here we're going to have our hub seal. It's not leaking and it's at adequate level. We're going to check our tire pressure to make sure it's at 100 to 90 to 100 psi. We'll be checking that with the tire gauge itself. Behind the tire, if you come in on in closer so I can kind of show you, we're going to be having our uh, uh, suspension. So here's going to be our spring leafs. Our leaf springs are not missing, so if they're cracked, they're broken. There we're going to have our uh, uh, spring hangers, which is going to be mounted securely, not cracked or broken, and mounted securely to the frame. Our U-bolts are right over here. They're not broken, loose, or missing any bolts, and they're mounted securely to the axle. Over here we're going to have our shock absorbers, brand new, as you can see. Uh, they're mounted securely and not leaking, and my bushings are not missing or damaged on the shock absorbers itself. Next, we're going to have our brakes. So when it comes to our brakes, we're going to have our brake hoses, lines, and couplings are not cracked, worn, or leaking. My brake chamber is not cracked, dented, or leaking, and no loose or missing clamps. My slack adjusters and push rods are not broken, loose, or missing any parts, and cannot move more than one inch with the brakes released. Back behind the tire, we're going to have our drum brake. Our drum brake is going to be uh, not cracked or broken, no loose or missing bolts, and free from contaminants such as debris, oil, and grease. My brake lining cannot be worn dangerously thin. And that's all my five brake items. As we keep coming down, like I said, if you are interested 
and you like this content, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, or just give us a call here. We're the best truck driving school in the entire country, so we can help you out and get your hands on, get your hands a little dirty, because that's how you're gonna learn the best. So, my door opens and closes properly from the outside, my hinges are secure, and my seal is intact. I'm gonna have my mirrors and mirror brackets are mounted securely with no loose or missing fittings. My steps and my catwalk are mounted securely, solid, and free and clear of any objects whatsoever. Any kind of lights on the side or dimension, this truck does not have any itself. When it comes to here, we're gonna talk about my frame. My frame and cross members are not cracked or broken, and they are mounted securely, no holes or uh, welds or anything like that, or damage. All my mounting bolts, brackets, and nuts and clamps are all mounted securely, not loose or missing. I'm going to have my exhaust, which is underneath here. My exhaust is going to be mounted securely, uh, not cracked or damaged, and not dented, and no signs of leaks, such as rust or carbon soot. Underneath here as well, I'm going to have my drive shaft. It cannot be bent or damaged, and the couplings have to be free and clear of foreign objects. Next, we're going to have our hoses, our air hoses, uh, air and electric hoses are not cut, chafed, spliced, or worn, cannot uh, have any steel braid showing through the electrical hoses itself, and that cannot be pinched, dragging uh, against the tractor parts. Now we're going to be talking about the connectors, so we're going to be talking about the tractor connectors and the trailer connectors itself. So my air and electric connectors are not leaking, they're all mounted securely. My glad hands are locked in place, my electrical plug is firmly seated, and like I said, nothing is leaking whatsoever. Here we're going to have our header board. Our header board is not cracked, dented or holes, has no bulges, and is strong enough to contain the cargo. Up there we're going to have our, our clearance lights on the front of the trailer. Clearance lights are amber in color, clean and functional, and not cracked or broken. All my reflective tape on the side of the trailer, same type of thing, clean and functional, uh, red and white in color. My clearance lights are amber in the front and red in the back, clean and functional, uh, not cracked or broken. Clearance lights on top, same type of thing, amber in color, uh, in the front, red in the back. All right, so that's pretty much everything to here. Now we're gonna talk about the tire. Like I said, the quick way, this is gonna be uh, the splash guard and mud flap, not cracked or broke, uh, mounted securely, not damaged. Tire, this is gonna be my drive axle, uh, no less than two thirty seconds of an inch. No cuts or damage to the tread or to the sidewall. My rim is not cracked, dented, or broken. I'll check the rim just like I did in the front. I'll check the lug nuts just like I did in the front. This is called my axle seal, it's not leaking, and it's, uh, ad it's at adequate level if there was a sight glass. Here, different would be my bud spacers. My bud spacers would actually be not bent, damaged, or rusted through. The tires are evenly separated, spacers are evenly centered, and uh, has no foreign objects or debris inside the bud spacers itself. My tire pressure should be 90 to 100 PSI. Back behind the tire, we cannot see it, but we still gotta talk about it. We're gonna have our five brake components, which is my brake chambers, my brake hoses, lines, and couplings, my brake drum, my brake lining, and my sock adjusters and push rods. I'll check all the way, I'll check them all like I did in the front itself. And when it comes to the suspension, we're gonna have all the same items plus two extra ones. We're gonna have our uh, spring hangers, our uh, leaf springs, our U-bolts, and our bushings, and our shock absorbers. All of those I'll check just like I did in the front. But back here, we're gonna have to check my air ride suspension. I'm gonna have to check to make sure that's not cracked or damaged or leaking. And I'm also have to check my torque arm is not damaged and mounted securely. Those are gonna be the extra suspension items back over here. And now, if you crawl underneath the trailer with me, you're gonna be able to see the, the fifth wheel. So on the fifth wheel, we're gonna have our a skid plate is going to be properly lubricated. Uh, there's no space between the fifth wheel skid plate and the apron itself. There's no gap. The apron is not cracked or bent or damaged. The kingpin is in the center. It's not bent or damaged. Locking jaws are locked firmly around the kingpin. Uh, the fifth wheel has no loose or missing pins as well. And the platform is not cracked or broken and mounted securely to the frame. Now back here we're going to have our tail lights that we do have to talk about. Our tail lights are going to be a red in color. Uh, and reverse light is white in color, clean, functional, not cracked or broken. And uh, we talked about the mud flap already, and then we got a reflective tape, same type of thing, clean and functional, uh, red in color. Back over here, we're going to have our landing gear. Landing gear is fully raised, no cracks or damage to the uh, landing gear support frame. My crank handle is secure. And one thing that I forgot on my fifth wheel, 
is going to be my release arm. My release arm is in the engaged position and safety latch is in place. Next, well, we already talked about all this. We're going to have our trailer frame. Our trailer frame is going to be not uh, damaged. As not, the trailer frame members, cross members, box and floor, cannot have any holes, damage, or any kind of cracks or broken welds on that itself for the vehicle. So, as we keep going back, for the test itself, you would have to talk about these tires as well. Tires, brake suspension, but since I'm not the one taking the test right now and you want to get this type of training, you have to give the number a call so then we can actually show you hands-on with the vehicle that you'll be taking the test in. Because here at this location and at any other of our driving academy locations, we actually have the, uh, the right to actually train you on the same truck you're going to be taking the test in. So you go to the test and you don't have to worry about any of that extra stuff at all. So we're going to finish off in the back. We talked about all these lights. And in the back is going to be very simple. We're going to be talking about lights just like we did before, reflectors just like we did before, and we're going to be talking about the door. So the door would open and close properly from the outside and it latches properly. And that, my friend, concludes the pre-trip inspection. So if you like this video, like I said, make sure you like, give us a like, a thumbs up, comment below. And if you want to get your CDL training done by your best CDL training school around, you definitely want to give us a call at 908-525-3609 or this number below, which is our Jackson location, uh, which is our brand new location. You definitely want to come to this location if you're at a faster pace turnaround because they just opened up. They got a, a backlog. They have students who are waiting to sign up. Classes are filling up fast, but this is actually the, one of our closest locations that can get you in and out super, super fast. Or just visit our website to see what's the best fit for you. Our, the website is going to be cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. And I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.